In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about a very, very important tool, yet it's not too commonly used. And um, we've actually come across it um, once in a while, but then we don't usually use it in our daily work on Corel Draw. Well, um, I'll be taking our time to discuss about the amazing feature about this tool. So um, it's very much simple and very, very easy to use. And um, I hope after this video you get to see how important the tool is. Alright, so um, without wasting much of our time, let's jump right in. Alright, so um, we head on to our toolbar section, then we come to this area where we have the crop tool. So you see this drop down here. So you click on it, then you see options for other tools here. So um, we'll be focusing on the knife tool. Yes, yeah, just as the name implies. So and um, if you notice all the other tools here um, we've discussed on the virtual segment delete tool you can check that in the description below you can we've discussed on the crop tool so now we're discussing on the knife tool so um if you notice all of these tools are tools that are used to erase or remove unwanted areas in um or wanted segments in um a particular design or whatever you're working on so um, that is where all these tools belong. So um, for this video, we'll be discussing on the knife tool. Alright, so um, what does this knife tool do? So it slides an object to split it into two separate objects, either directly with a gap or an overlap. Alright, so um, we'll be making instance using text, shapes and images because that is majorly what we work with um, in CorelDRAW. Alright, so um, this is the first option here. Alright, so um, we'll be trying this out on this text. So um, you select your tool here. Alright, like I said, it's this is what you see at the beginning. Then um, you click on this, or you just hold your mouse over this or your keyboard. Then you hover down to knife. Alright, so you just slice like this. Hit on the space bar to deselect. Then there you have it so um you can just create a very amazing effect here so basically that's what it does so um once you select it so whatever area you intend slicing it from you can decide to slice just this part or a part you don't want or whatever area you prefer so you can decide to slice like this so whichever one um you prefer all right you can also use another font so let's take for instance we don't want um, this um, glyph here all right so we can use the knife tool to cut it off and it's very clean and very precise so and um, if you want to maintain balance if you want to cut at a certain degree you select the tool I hit on the space bar now to bring back the tool so um, hold shift or control so you see it's cutting at this um, angle so um, it's very very sensitive now but once I remove my hand from what I'm currently holding now is the shift button so but now I've removed my hand from it so now I'm holding the control either the control or the shift so whichever one but the shift seems to be more accurate so we can decide to cut at this angle for more accuracy so um, whichever one you um, prefer so you can try to cut this area so I uh, see how very sharp it is right you can decide to cut this so you don't need to break it apart or any other thing so um, you're good to go so once you just slice through then it cuts so you see a little line so how simple as it is so this is it being tried on text so you can be creative depending on, on what you want to achieve all right so um let's try it on shapes too as well so this is a shape an outline shape i think i've already cut this one before so let me show you another one. Drag this hold control, right click to create a duplicate, then right click to give an outline, then click on this to move the fill color. Alright, so um how about station whereby you want to cut this into half? So um select this knife tool, then you just slide over whatever area you want, then um yeah as simple as it is same thing applies to this shape that has a few color select the shape then um, you select your knife tool then you drag 
So if you notice this little line here, as it's telling you that um that there's been a slice there. So um, whatever shape you intend using, so it will still work. All right. So the next I'll be trying it on uh on images. So be it um a JPEG or a PNG to still work. So you select your tool, the knife tool. So let's try it on a JPEG first. All right. So you drag. So you notice this white line or white cap here. As you said, there's been a slice there. So um, you can move this. So that is how um. Depending on how creative you can be with it, so you slice this whatever area. You can also slice an area you already sliced before. So um, let's do this. So um, this is it. So um, yeah. So let's take for instance we don't want this area or something like that. That is where this tool comes in handy. So um, as you can see, it's very much simple and easy to use, right? Um. Yeah, so you can be creative with it and play around until you achieve what you want. All right, so um, let's try it on a PNG image. All right, so um, you select your tool. All right, so you can also hit on the space bar to select the previous tool or the last tool you used. So the last tool I used was a knife, so I just hit on the, my space bar, and it brings it back. So you just slide through whatever area you want, and then you see this slice. Hit on the space bar to deselect. Yes, as easy as it is. All right, so um, it's very much simple and very very easy to do. So um, there are a few other things to as well. So whenever I um bring up this tool, so I hit on the space bar now, and um, head on to our property bar here. So what we've been using so far is the two point line mode. So um, which is this. So there's also the free hand. Yeah, you can also explore this. So we're we'll trying this now. So um, if you see it has changed now, it looks like the freehand icon now. So if you don't want um, a two-point line kind of um, slice, you can use this. And then you see the slice. So um, that is another option, depending on what you want to achieve. All right. So you can hit on the space bar to bring back the tool. So we can also try this um, Bezier tool. So uh, probably to create a kind of curve. So from this, slice an object along a Bezier curve. All right. So let's try it with this to so, um, create a curve or something. So don't mind my curve. All right, so um, this is it. So depending on how creative you can be. So these are those other options for you to explore. Hit on the space bar. Let's bring this back. So auto close on cut. You can also try this out too as well. Then this here too as well, the freehand smoothing. Adjust the smoothness of freehand curves as you create them so so far so good this i usually leave it at this and then um, there's um the gap and overlap too as well so um you can decide to use whichever one here all right so um there's also automatic there's convert to object and there's um keep outlines so I also leave mine to automatic here there's um this option here too as well there's the bounding box show or hide the bounding box um when using the curve all right so i'm um, depending on what you want all right just to draw back to this so there's another option too as well where you can um once you select the tool all right so um you can choose none you can choose gap so um rather the gap the mean is um this little line so do you want it to be more bigger than this or in tennis artists like this so you can set this so let's set it to let's say two then you slice over okay, sorry then you slice over and then um, this is the gap so this is too much so i usually leave it at um zero hit on enter then um, i leave it at none so this is much more better so um this is what we have here so this is much more better so guys um that is it on this video on how to use the knife tool here in coral draw um i hope with this video you've been able to know how important this tool is and i hope you get to try it on whatever project you're working on so guys um that is it on this video if you found this video helpful do all to hit on the subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to get notified of upload new videos and don't forget to like share and drop a comment and also if you have a video you'd like me to create on so do all to drop that in the comment section thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video tutorial